welcome back guys thank you so much for continuing to watch the videos in this playlist and my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so i'm sharing some advanced videos and not just in the playlist the other videos as well so you can go through you'll find nothing like this right when it comes to the the real time implementation of like advanced strategies in google ads and facebook ads and all right so this video is in the playlist so this video would be emphasizing uh, emphasized more on the pitch strategies that we have in google ads so when you go to an interview people might ask you at a basic level what are the pitch strategies bidding is like how much you want to pay or how you want to pay right so generally bid budget is how much you want to pay per campaign or how much you want to spend per campaign per day is budget and uh, bid is nothing but you know do you pay per impressions or you pay per clicks you pay per install you pay per uh, acquisition you the other bidding strategies right as as adwords is being evolved over the years the several bid strategies have come and some have been removed so let's do some study on bid strategies so let's jump right in so you find bid strategies you find bid strategies where you, you go to tools at the top at the top you have bit strategy if i click on bit strategy it will come to this place right so here you have the option of finding the bit strategies right so if i click on the plus symbol here when i click on the plus symbol see there's so many bit strategies first one is target cpa it's called target cost per acquisition target roas return on ad spend maximize clicks target impression share target search page location outranking share and uh and ncpc right you can even go to the campaign let's go back to campaign once and let's show you if i go back to campaign i click on a new campaign if i if i say i want to create a new campaign click on new campaign i click on new campaign and let's select search network whatever network you want so i click on continue when i click on continue it will ask you all the settings and here also you have something called bidding right so if i go back to this see the automatic bid strategies manual bid strategies again target cpa target you can choose them when you're creating a campaign or you can go back to the bid strategies from tools tab and there also you can find it if you can create them there and then you can come back and use them here for example imagine i already have a bid strategy created target roa so what i'll do is i i select this option or use a portfolio bid strategy portfolio bid strategy is nothing it's one bid strategy that you create at the main level and you can apply them to multiple campaigns rather than applying to uh, multiple campaigns multiple times you can create one portfolio bid strategy and this strategy can be applied to multiple campaigns right so let's let's go to this bid strategies and discuss in detail as to what these bid strategies are so i won't say this campaign so i click on leave now bid strategies so target cpa cpa is cost per acquisition cost per acquisition so let's do some study on this right give me one moment the target cpa works only when you have implemented conversion tracking right cost per acquisition it works only when you have implemented conversion tracking because if you haven't implemented conversion tracking how the system know that you have Uh, uh, so and so event as conversion. So to to track conversions again, you have to place a conversion tracking code on thank you page whenever that event happens. After the ad click, Google records it as a um, S I T I O N acquisition, right? Right. So now imagine, just imagine, I got just uh, just to give you a little idea. Imagine I got hundred clicks. I got ten conversions. So when I got hundred clicks and ten conversions, my conversion rate will be ten percent. Right. now so let's assume my each cpc is like 50 rupees i have 50 i paid 50 rupees per click just imagine i paid 50 rupees per click so what's the cost cost formula is cpc into clicks i think you might be aware so it would be how much 50 into 100 yes into 100 that will be equivalent to 5000 i think yeah right so my cost i've spent is 5000 rupees and uh, i've got 100 clicks each click costing me uh, 50 rupees and uh, i've got 10 conversions right so so the, the entire cost is 5000 rupees and how many conversions i've got 10 so if i ask you what is my cost per conversion cost per conversion is nothing but cost by conversion what is the cost 5000 what's the conversions 10 So how much is it? Five hundred. That means for every conversion, I've 
spent 500 rupees. For every click, I paid 50 rupees, but every click did not turn into conversion. I needed at least 10 clicks to get that one conversion. That is when I have the ratio of 10% conversion rate. So 50 rupees per click, but the cost per conversion is 500 rupees, right? So this is my acquisition cost. AC acquisition cost. So how much is my acquisition cost? 500. And I've spent 5,000, I got 10 conversions, right? So, so I can use this acquisition cost and tell Google, hey Google, you see, target CPA, whatever name you want to give, my target CPA is like, imagine it is rupees, so I say 50, right? So what system does is, in this 50 rupees, system will try to get me clicks in such a way that at least it will try to get me one conversion. Right. So target CPA is nothing but the maximum acquisition amount you are willing to pay or the maximum amount you are willing to pay to get a conversion. Google automatically sets bits to help get as many conversions as possible within the CPA. That means if I put $50 here, system will try to get me as many conversions as possible within the 50. Right. No, I don't want to go with this. You simply want to go with manual bidding where you pay 50 rupees per click. How much that is? is that how much? Yeah. Yeah, I pay how much? 50 rupees per click? No, 500 is my acquisition cost, sorry. So imagine this is rupees, so 500. So what system does is in those 500 rupees system will try to get me as many conversions as possible. But for this to work, you have to have conversion tracking enabled, not just conversion tracking enabled. In last 30 days, at least 15 conversions should be tracked. And that is a very little data. You need to have a lot of conversions coming in day in, day out. When you have a lot of conversion history, system can make accurate predictions, system can find patterns and try and bid on your uh, you know keywords in such a way that you get more clicks within your uh, more conversions within your acquisition uh, amount so you know this is cpa so that is maximum you are willing to pay to get one conversion right so this is cpa right so let's go back i don't want this i go with the next one you want to go in detail it is rather good that you come practically sit and work in real time that's when you understand as to how things work for this you need great data because you need you can't simply go and directly create a cpa uh, a bidding strategy unless you have data because system have no data in the house and system understand how much you're supposed to bid and what kind of clicks will turn what pattern of clicks will to get into conversions right so for that you need a lot of data and this will happen only for accounts or this has to be used for accounts where you have tremendous data and you understand as to hey this is what i'm spending for each click and this is how much i spend at least for each conversion i told you 50 rupees i pay per click but 10 clicks lead to one conversion so that means on an average i'm spending 500 rupees to get that one conversion so i can directly give google 500 rupees and say hey get me one conversion now, target ROA is target ROA is nothing but ROI, you know, return on ad spend or return on investment. And for this, what you have to do is you have to have the conversion value and all. So when you go with target ROA, system will directly ask me, right? If you're investing thousand rupees and you get seven thousand rupees ROI, so you can directly say, hey, I want five hundred percent ROI. So what system does is system will try and serve your ads in such a way that system will get you 500% ROAs and for this system need to have complete data about the conversion values as well. You can't use ROAs feature unless you give conversion value data in the conversion tracking. So the requirement is it not just need to have conversion tracking enabled but when enable conversion tracking you have to pass the conversion values as well. You see with target ROAs Google Ads automatically sets your bits to get as much conversion value. Right? That means when you set up conversions, I'll just show you if I set up conversions here, if I click on conversions here, I'm just taking you to the conversion process. So you have a basic idea. So I want, I want to club both of them. So you understand what I'm trying to get at. Right? So I, I click on conversion plus here. It's asking me website. Yeah. No, you can give a name. I, I give it as lead or purchase, whatever you want. It's asking me, Hey, what's the name of the conversion? What's the value? So if I give it as uh, you know, 10,000 rupees. So every time conversion happens, system knows that there's a value exchange of 1,000 to 10,000 rupees. For if it's an e-commerce site, again, you have to dynamically pass the values. For that, you have to use, uh, you know, you know, data layers and you pass the, the custom parameters along with the uh, remarketing pixel that we will learn when we learn about dynamic remarketing and all. But our topic is not that. So I wanted to share about the bid strategies. So target ROS is nothing but how much you spend and on top of that, how much you want to get. Right? How much in terms of in terms of the, the percentage, right? the conversion value percentage is one. Right. And third one is maximize clicks. This bidding strategy is like, you know, system will bid in such a way that you get more clicks within your budget. Right. So if I say, hey, uh, I don't want to spend more than two dollars, give a strategy and apply to whatever campaign. System will bid in such a way that you get more clicks 
more clicks within your budget. But here's a small condition. System will never bid beyond $2. So when you use this bid strategy, if you give a campaign the budget as $50 and system will try to get within, uh, get you clicks worth of $50. But the condition here is system will try to get you more clicks within your $50. But system will never bid beyond $2. Right. Target spend per day because you know there is also a concept of over delivery, so you can restrict that as well. You can curb that by using the target uh, spend per day. Right? Target spend is the amount you like to spend each day on all campaigns that use this bid strategy. Provided you're using this bid strategy as the portfolio bid strategy, that's when you can uh, use this condition. Next one, you have target impression share. I've discussed about the impression share in my previous videos. Impression share, you always need to have 100%. If you're losing impressions, you lose because of rank and budget. So it's important that you watch the impression share reports. They're one of the most important reports an expert would look at to understand the topographic view of your campaign performance, right? So impression share, it's asking me, where do you want your ads to be served? Anywhere on the search results page, top of the results page, absolute top. Absolute top is first, top is one, two, three, four. If I say top of, the page that means I want my ads to be served in the top. It's asking me what percentage of times you want impression share, or we always expect 100%, so I say at least 90%. So, system will try and bid in such a way that it will at least try or it will try to get me 90% of impression share. But again, if your bids are low, if your budget is low, system can't do anything. Again, for this to happen, you need to have good budgets and good uh, ranks. You'll find the other reports in the impression share video. You can go back in the uh, list and you can read about or watch the video about impression share report. They're very, very important. Impression is nothing but impression share automatically sets your bits to increase your ads chances of appearing in the search areas you select. That impression share. And then you have something called target search page location. This is for people who say, hey, I want my ad to appear in top positions. Remember, Google has a dynamic, so it doesn't mean your ad will always be in first position. If somebody can increase their bit and your ad will go to top, the, 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 the lower position. So what you can do is you have the option where if you always want to be in top positions, one, two, three, four, you can use this option, you can say automatic. So if somebody increases the bid, system will increase your bid as well automatically to try and get you the top positions. So target search page location, you can read this. Google Ads automatically sets your bids to increase the chances that your ads appear at the top of the page, right? So this for those people who always want to make sure that you no, know, I don't, I don't monitor, you know, but I don't want to take a risk of you know somebody increasing their bids and my ad having a lower position. I want system to automatically increase my bid, so you can go with this option. And then you have outranking share. Outranking share will be removed soon. Uh, that that's a new update. It will be removed soon by the end of June and all, right? So outranking share is a metric where you can directly target a competitor domain. For example, hey, I don't want to show my ads, or I want to outrank this particular domain. So I can put whatever domain I want, and I say, hey, outrank how much percent? Minimum ninety percent. And if needed, I am paying fifty rupees per click. But if you needed this guy to be outranked, or I want this guy to be outranked, and you need not fifty rupees, you take seventy five rupees as well. I am okay to pay seventy five rupees per click, but but I want this guy to be outranked. So if yeah, this is particularly for people whose whose motive is only to get my ad about this person or make sure that our ad appears about this person. So your, your chances, you choose the domain you want to outrank its source results and how often you want to outrank it. So Google automatically adjusts your bits in such a way that you get that conditions met. Right. And then you have the last one, which we call it as an NCPC and NCPC is more or, uh, you know, less like CPA, but CPA here. Uh, no, I would not say that it's completely different as well. If you uh, see, uh, if you, if you go with manual CPC, right, system will, you, you will give a bid and system will take that bid, but it doesn't take into account whether it's going to be, uh, likely to get a conversion. It's not going to be likely to get a conversion. It doesn't take whatever you bid to give just a magic keyword. It will say it, it will serve the ad whether it's likely to convert, not likely to convert the same bid will go. But when in, in terms of NNCPC, what system will do is system will serve the ads. But if there is a possibility of conversion and system predicts there is a likelihood of this click turning into conversions. So rather than having the same constant bid system can increase your bid by, you know, you know, 90%. Right. Earlier it was only 30%, now it can go up to you know, double as well. So the whole point is system will try and bid in such a way that it drives more clicks to conversions. And that will happen when system have more data and this will only be allowed when you have set up conversion tracking. And then CPS adjust your manual bids. CPA you directly give 500 rupees and system will try and get you at least one conversion. But here you give the bid 50 rupees. And system thinks, hey, in normal bidding 50 rupees, Search term matches keyword is not likely 50 rupees to convert, uh, is likely to convert still 50 rupees. But when you choose eCPC, if the click of the person searching is more likely to convert, it will not take 50, it will take 75, it will take 100 rupees. 
if the click is not likely to convert, the person searching is not likely to convert, the system will not set 50 rupees. It can even decrease a bit. So it will increase or decrease your manual bits in such a way that you get more conversion. Right? Then it's a big study. You have to work on these accounts, get accounts uh, access, which has a lot of data. That's when you practically understand how they work and what changes, how they affect after you implement these things. And only then you become a complete expert. Remember, it's all about practicals. It's all about working and spending time on the account to get these real-time experience. Thank you so much. But it is important that you have a complete overview of this before you jump into learning practicals. Thank you so much. If you want to learn real-time, you can come to our agency. You can come to my bootcamp. We have a great, great place, uh, state-of-the-art facility. And we are a Google partner. Partner, you can go check in the Google's database. Not every person who puts a logo is a Google partner. They all cheat you. That's just a hoax. They, they cheat you they, 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 you and you fall for a trick. Don't do that. Click on the logo, Google partner logo. Check if they're really listed in Google's database. That's when you understand. Uh, learn from someone who can really give you access to real-time accounts. And that's how you learn. Thank you so much. Continue to watch the other videos in the playlist. And I will see you in another video. Thank you.